The Hound of the Baskervilles is a 1978 British comedy film spoofing the 1902 novel The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. It starred Peter Cook as Sherlock Holmes and Dudley Moore as Dr. Watson. A number of other well-known British comedy actors appeared in the film including Terry Thomas, Kenneth Williams, and Denil Melliot. The film begins in a theatre, where a pianist begins to play a piano accompaniment to the actual film being shown in the theatre. Holmes has just restored a stolen artifact to three French nuns, and is later called on a case by Dr. Mortimer concerning Sir Henry Baskerville and a legendary hound that curses the Baskerville estate. Tired and worn out by so many cases, Holmes passes the case on to Dr. Watson, who is portrayed as a Welsh eccentric. Upon arriving at the station, Sir Henry, Dr. Mortimer, Watson and Perkins are halted by a policeman, who warns them of a murderer stalking the moors, before sending the group on their way. While out in the moor collecting specimens, Watson has a curious encounter in a hut with the raving Mr. Franklin and Franklin's exceedingly strong daughter, Mary. In the next scene, we see Holmes still in London, visiting Ada, his mother who, as a bogus spiritualist aided by her housekeeper, Iris, scams older ladies of their money and false seances. Holmes' mother is concerned that Waddy may need help, and that Cheryl, should rush to his aid. In next scene, Holmes interviews the one-legged Mr. Spigot to act as a runner on the moor. In the next scene, while wandering on the moors, Watson happens upon Mr. Stapleton, who mistakes him for Sir Henry. Stapleton's sister describes dramatically her encounter with the hound on the moor, suggesting that it ravished her, whereupon she attempts to force herself upon the reluctant Watson. With Miss Stapleton undergoing supernatural transformations reminiscent of The Exorcist. The Barrymores at Baskerville Halma Street Sir Henry and Watson, feeding them only cheese and water and then throwing them into a small bedroom, ankle deep in water. Watson then goes to the village to send a message to Holmes, and meets Mr. Stapleton of Maripit Hall. Stapleton is carrying a chihuahua that proceeds to urinate in Watson's pocket and face. Arriving at Maripit Hall, Watson meets the eccentric Mrs. Stapleton, who displays surreal symptoms suggesting demonic possession. Late at night, Sir Henry and Watson discover the Seldons and the escaped murderer, whom Watson recognizes as Mrs. Barrymore's brother Ethel Selden, having a family dinner. Oddly enough, neither of the men seems to panic at this. Afterward, Holmes arrives and examines the case so far. An invitation arrives for Sir Henry, asking him to dinner at Maripit Hall. Suspecting a trap, Watson goes along with Sir Henry while Holmes observes carefully. Mrs. Stapleton resumes her bizarre acts and begins to vomit pale blue liquid over Sir Henry, whilst Mr. Stapleton's chihuahua urinates in Watson's soup. Ordered to leave in disgrace, the Stapletons, Dr. Mortimer, Mr. Franklin, and his daughter Mary follow Sir Henry and Watson to kill them, but become trapped in a quagmire. Holmes then proceeds to reveal that the hound is no more than a large, rather friendly Irish wolfhound owned by the late Sir Charles Baskerville, whose excited barking was misinterpreted as a monstrous beast. He also states that the dog is the sole heir of Sir Charles. With the dog gone, the would-be murderers would have gained the Baskerville fortune in the estate. The film ends on the pianist, who is then hit by vegetables from the audience. The house featured in the film is Oakley Court, which was in the grounds of the Bray Studios. The film received overwhelmingly negative reviews, being described variously as a chore and a ponderous shambles, with much of the blame being laid at Morrissey's direction, especially given the substantial comedic talent involved. Virtually the entire cast consisted of comic actors who were well-known and respected in the UK and overseas. Perhaps because of this, it went unreleased until 1981 in the United States. It has a 0% rating at Rotten Tomatoes. Thanks for watching.